This year we find ourselves in Montana, just a little bit further west than we were last year in North Dakota. We decided to hit the big prairies of the Big Sky State for sharp tail and huns. Got into town late last night, spent the night in the hotel, woke up early this morning, loaded up the dogs, fueled the truck, put some gas station food in our bellies, headed for the first block management we could find. This is a type one block management property. All permission is administered on the spot in a sign in box. We've only got two dogs on this trip. My three year old GSP Sawyer, Tom's four year old lab, Brody, we're low on dog power, we know it, but we're here to find some birds and make the best of it. Let's have at it. All right, that's good. First thing we're looking for is uh, any grasshoppers on the ground, and uh, we did find some in this little valley, so that was a good sign. Like yeah. Hey, buddy. Tom, myself, and both of these dogs have only got a couple of days experience on the prairie, so this is all pretty new to us. Um, we're trying to study the terrain, the cover, see what we can do to find birds, and, um, you know, have some luck. There's one there. Wild flush. Well, he bumped those. Not how you want to start, but that's sometimes how it goes. Uh, we'll try to catch up with those birds later. We got a point here. We worked that whole valley and circled back around and sorry goes on point. And um, well, I, I've got to get across this fence, I think, to get a shot, so. I thought a lot of the birds on this trip were a little bit jumpy. Some held well, but others didn't. So after that missed chance, we just keep working this field. Pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. Sawyer goes on point, relocates, goes on point, relocates. So we've got some birds kind of moving through the area. We haven't seen any come up yet, and uh, we're just trying to pin one down. Oh, here we go. Tom and I separate, he takes one ridge, I take another. We know there's birds moving through here. It's just a matter of who's gonna find them first and that happened to be Tom. Well, Tom's getting some shooting over there. Well, our first walk in Montana, we uh, we went to a type one BMA that was closest to the, we just drove up here from the hotel, got in late last night, and we walked this field. Sawyer, we found some birds, we pushed them around I think three times, and then Tom was able to get these two, so that was, that was fun. But quick run, dog does eight miles on our first run, so we're, we don't want to burn them up too quick today. <laughs> Good start, Tom. Yeah, great start. Big Sky Country. We were, we got nervous because this box 
was full of you know used BMA tickets. You got to fill out a ticket every time you hunt with your information, and uh, about half of that stack is it's gone, gone. <laughs> and that box is stuffed. <laughs> so we thought, oh, maybe this is not such a great place. But I don't know. We weren't walking ten minutes. Yeah, and we, we were in the birds up. You know, we were in the birds. Kind of, well, it was a wild flush. Dogs were down in the valley, and birds were up on top of the ridge, and and uh, you know, I took a shot. Uh, a couple of times but we picked that one up I just reloaded and uh, Brody like swung swung down yeah going down the ridge and all of a sudden he ran into another one and then all of a sudden <laughs> just they just all popcorn. I saw him just pop popping off the side yeah. of that hill and it's hard because they don't get up very hard, very right. high right, right away. And Brody's right there, so I'm waiting, 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 and then they got farther away. So I, mean, I was surprised I got on the board. The um, but then I had follow-up shots on the second one. I just it's too far, I think. Yeah, yeah. Chase that group. Spots. Yeah, he's, he's so pretty. What was cool about this hunt was Tom was able to take those birds with his late father's old wingmaster. Uh, it happened to be made the same year Tom was born, so that just kind of made it a little more special to do with the old pump action. The temperature started heating up, so we decided to put the dogs in and give them a break for a few hours and do a little bit of scouting since we don't know this area at all. And uh, we've been looking at a lot of Onyx maps and uh, had a lot of pins to kind of go over and see what we could find so we spent a few hours in the truck just looking around seeing what kind of cover we could find for the next few days we'd be here really a great chance to kind of soak in montana and check out all the scenery and different landscape just a beautiful place everywhere we went um, we did end up hunting a couple of spots got a little frustrated didn't see much so we headed back down to uh, state property that we passed on the way up that we thought looked good and uh, try to give it a shot here One advantage of block management is you kind of know how many people have been hunting there in general uh, Because of the sign-in box, but when it comes to state and BLM property, you really have no idea So we just took a chance on this because we thought this little valley looked good and see if we can find some birds It's mid-afternoon and close to 80 degrees, and we're looking for some cover that might provide some shade and hold some birds. Just a few minutes in, Sora goes on point. I got two down. I was able to take that first bird off camera, second shot missed, and third shot I was able to take two. So I won't call it a double, but I shot two. Brody, here. Good boy. Come on. Sawyer, here. Brody, here, here, here. Brody. Sawyer, here. No sh how the hell did I miss that? Here bud, here! This place is loaded, dude. I'm trying to call Sawyer over to get this bird and uh, he's still working something and I should have known better. Wait, there's no breeze. Sawyer, here, come. He's getting gassed a little bit now. 
Here we go, Tom. One just flew off the side of this hill. Way up there, kind of wild. This part of the valley was really thick. Uh, looked like great pheasant cover, and uh, we would see some a few days later. Nice shot. I was just about to pull the trigger. <laughs> Tom with a great spinorama shot. Yeah, he was right here, sitting on this uh, trail. I was uh, 10, 12 feet from him. Good boy. Headshot. All right, the best. So we cleaned up those birds and headed back to the hotel in town. Came back the next morning, hit some other block managements in that area. Uh, first one wasn't that great. It was pretty grazed over. Uh, didn't see much. Hit a second property. Had great looking prairie. Just not a lot of structure. Not a lot of shrubs uh, dispersed, but great grass. Didn't find anything there. Got, you know, a little bit discouraged. Um, but we're going to keep after it and see what we can find. So now it's about midday and uh, it's actually warmer than the day before. Um, we head a little bit north to another uh, block management. We scouted on the maps, see what we could find. Um, honestly, it didn't look that great on the front side of it. It looked kind of grazed over. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, But we're going to walk over the ridge that we can't see. This is a pretty big, uh, I think it was a couple sections worth of land. So. Jesus. Here. So I'm only counting two. I hit I hit one. Okay. I know. Definitely focused on two. Right. Bam. And I turned this way. Bam. Then I went back. <laughs> Bam. And then I, I reloaded and another one got up and I shot again, but you know, we were both just blasting away. <laughs> to all the safety police out there. The camera makes it look closer than it really was. There was plenty of room. Yeah. Look at all these berries. This place is loaded. Whoa. We took four birds out of that group and uh, we're trying to find the rest of the group that flew down to this valley. Get him, bud. I got, one, I got two. Or same bird, maybe. Come on, bud. Bring it here. Good boy. Bring him here, bud. We both shot at that one you dropped, I think, and then that last one, I fired at it too. You got just picked up two, right? Yeah. So I think we got one more to shoot. Okay. I only got one in my sack. Okay. Right, kind of I thought you said you got two. Already. Well, I think you and I hit the same bird. Because oh. it, I mean, okay. when I fired, you fired. Sawyer, here. So you get some shooting like that, you kind of have to stop and take account of how many birds you have, make sure you're under the limit. Three, four, five, 
six. Yeah, seven with mine. Okay. One more bird to get. Damn. There was another one, and I thought I thought that was it. Not that I would have. Sawyer. Him, but... Tom and I are both carrying our new final rise vest. He's got the summit. I had the sidekick, and uh, we stuffed him up pretty good. Oh, there he. Is. There's some mixture of juveniles and yeah. I'll stick. So I got two in mine. Okay. Five in yours. Dogs are a little gas, so we took a little break in the shade, the same shade that uh, we just shot those birds out of. And uh, we're going to continue pushing this field and see if we can find our one more bird. We got seven out of eight to go here. moves in behind this brush and goes on point just beyond view. That was out pretty far. That's all right. We'll find an, I mean, oh. empty. Public service announcement, make sure your gun is loaded. I had one shell in. Uh, it's all kinds of stuff out here, isn't there? Hunt him up. two-man limit. This one was tucked right in this grass right in front of me. This wasn't the prettiest way to finish this hunt. I think that bird just came through there and didn't have a lot of scent and the dogs didn't pick him up. Should be a fine. Headshot and wing. Back. The rest would have been good. He was flying away from me. Yeah. <laughs> That's two man limit, Tom. That's a first for us. Yeah. That's awesome. Can't complain about that. No. We knew there was going to be something in here. I mean, it's like yeah. guaranteed with all the birds out. What do we see out here? 50 There's birds? So many. I mean, so many birds. Beat dog. Two beat dogs. <laughs> so that turned out to be a pretty good hunt for us. Went in empty handed on one property, came out with a two man limit. The dogs are pretty gassed at this point, so we decided to give them a breather and, and ourselves and uh, gonna hunt some huns later um, but really we're, we're below on dog power and we know it we don't want to burn them up so we called it a day you gotta love those moments after the hunt where you just kick back kick off the boots relax enjoy yourself take a look at the surroundings get the camera out and celebrate a little bit with some photos and uh, just take it all in plan was to camp overnight, so now we're going to go look for a piece of public land to camp on. Uh, we knew a cold front was coming in, and this might be the last decent weather that we could do it. And uh, before that, we're going to clean up these birds and have a meal. And I got to say, sharp tail tacos on the prairie, pretty tough to beat. Uh, we probably ate six or seven birds and just stuffed ourselves. Had a great time, had a few beers, told some stories and kind of rehashed the hunt of the day. and. Uh, just a beautiful evening.
So camping seemed like a great idea until the cold front moved in, rain came with it, and lots of wind. I spent about three hours holding my tent up, thought for sure it was going to come apart. Didn't get a whole lot of sleep. The goal was to hunt in the morning right off that camp spot, but more storms were moving in and uh, kind of spoiled those plans. We were grown ass men, so we went back to the hotel for the next night. The trip's going great so far, and hunting with one of my best buddies from high school, we're finding birds in most places we go. Thanks for watching part one of our Montana sharp tail trip. More to come in part two.